Hey guys, welcome to your special Yule winter solstice slash great conjunction yoga class. Um, I just felt really pulled to do this class for you guys. Um, there's a lot of energy happening. This all takes place on December 21st, um, which is tomorrow for me and I definitely feel it. So there's a lot going on. Um, I do have my little puppy. I don't know if you can see him. He's sleeping on my bed. We're going to hope that he stays there for the whole class. No guarantees if he interrupts me. Um, but yeah, so we have a lot going on. So First things first, the winter solstice. This is, you know, the transition of the seasons. Um, this is also known as Yule. So a lot of Christmas traditions come from the pagan tradition of Yule. Um, a Yule log, obviously, decorating a tree, a Christmas tree, that is a Yule tree actually, making wreaths, um, all a mistletoe, all that kind of stuff comes from the pagan traditions of Yule. This is the transition from darkness to light. So on the 21st, it is the shortest day and the longest night. And then, you know, we start to gain our daylight back. So this is coming out of hibernation. This is that transition. Um, this is also happening on the first day of Capricorn. So it's that Capricorn energy. It's um, really, they rule the root chakra. So we're gonna do some grounding work. Now, you've probably heard something about this great conjunction that is also happening on the 21st. Um, it is also being called the Christmas star. Um, basically what's happening, is Jupiter and Saturn are coming to align perfectly and this only happens like every hundred like couple hundred years right this doesn't happen very often um, all of this this planetary alignment this astrology of this conjunction having an happening in Aquarius hasn't happened in a very 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 long time and this it's big it's a big deal this is probably one of the biggest astrological events in hundreds of years um, and again, so this is taking place in Aquarius, and then we have the winter solstice in Capricorn. Both of these are grounding energies, right? So because of all this energy that's happening, we've got to ground ourselves, right? So we're going to be doing a lot of grounding, but also um, we're going to be doing some twists to release all of the darkness because we're transitioning from darkness to light. So we need to release all of this shit we've been holding on to. Sorry, excuse my cursing, <laughs> but all this stuff that we've been holding on to from the past year, the past years, um, we need to release it so we can start this new journey. So that is what this conjunction is ushering in. It is ushering in a huge new era, a new journey. Um, I like to call it the start of the hero's journey. So in tarot, this is the full taking that leap of faith. This is the start of something new, something big, of something life-changing. Now, you're not going to wake up on the 21st and be like, well, I have magic powers, because that's what some people are saying. That's not how it works. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to wake up with this sense of energy of I am going to make this shift in my life. I'm going to make this change in my life. Um, the community, the collective is going to feel it. There's going to be a lot of social change happening. This is going to be a huge time for manifestation, transformation, a new era aligning with your highest self. I have a lot of notes just making sure I get all of it. Um, so this, with the solstice, we're awakening from that slumber, from that hibernation, from that darkness. And with the conjunction, we're starting that hero's journey. So it's like we're going through this awakening to start something new. Um, now, shameless self-promotion, if you would like my help in starting something new and starting a new life journey um, in health. And I, when I say health, I mean physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, everything. Um, my group coaching program, Nourish Your Life, is open for registration. I'm going to put the link in the description box. This is a 12-week transformational program. Um, you get so much, you get all my yoga courses, workout videos, recipes, um, lessons on finding your purpose, goal setting, mindful eating, mindful movement, self-love, body acceptance, um, smashing through limiting beliefs, getting rid of toxic people, um, cyclical living, setting a ritual, setting a routine, everything you could possibly need to make that change happen, Nourish Your Life has. We also have our Nourish Your Life community, a little coven of people on the same journey if you need that support. So go ahead and click the link in my description box to apply. I'm also doing a free tarot card reading for every application and you get access to my self-love survival kit all just for applying. So go do that. Anywho, so we're going to get into this yoga class. Now we have a few mantras for this class. There is a lot of, like I said, a lot of stuff happening. So a lot of, I put, picked three mantras. Now you can pick the one that vibes the most to you. I'm going to be queuing them all throughout class. Um, or you can pick all of them, set, you know, just do it all with me. Um, the first one is no, I will not block my blessings from the universe. Second one is yes, I'm open to receive the light. And the last one is I will align with my highest purpose. So we're going to be doing all of those. Now you will need blocks for this class today. We're going to be working on a little bit of half moon. So you're going to need those blocks. Um, and yeah, we're just going to get this thing started. I'll stop ranting at you. I'm going to grab some water. <laughs> Lots of talking. All right, so 
we're gonna get started in hero's pose which again this is this is the start of the hero's journey if you're into literature that's what i'm referring to feel free to look it up it's like this journey of luke skywalker harry potter it's the start of this journey it's the start of the journey of the chosen one and that's what we're going with so go ahead and start seated on your legs your knees bent now if this is uncomfortable for you you can come to an easy seated pose you can extend your legs out whatever feels right for you and your body always listen to your body everything i say is an option not an order so go ahead and have your hands facing down on your thighs just to get start with that grounding energy connect with that root chakra and as you close your eyes here imagine someone's pulling a string from the top of your head so you have that nice tall spine and we're gonna bring it to our breath. And as always, we're not changing anything about our breath. We're just noticing it as it goes in and out through our nose. As you inhale, you feel the shoulders rise, the chest expand, the belly expand. And as you exhale, everything releases. Start to use your breath to check in here. Take inventory of the mind, the body, the soul. Maybe you've already picked up on these really intense energies. Maybe you're like, Tasha, I already feel it. I know, I feel it too. And don't judge yourself for it. Practice non-attachment. Know that we're going to work through it and we're going to release it. And just know that you can harness this energy, this magic, and work it with intention. Manifest everything that you want, everything that you dream. Now we're going to start with some gentle movement here, just with some shoulder rolls. I want you to inhale, draw those shoulders up to your ears, and exhale, drop them back. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop them back. Three more. Nice and slow, starting to warm up that shoulder girdle. Take it in the opposite direction. So this time from down, you're going to go up and back. So squeezing those shoulder blades behind you and then bringing them up and then dropping them forward. So inhaling as they come up and back and exhaling as they come down and forward. Three more. Now you're going to extend your arms out. So now we're going to take shoulder, full shoulder rolls, shoulder circles to the back. So I just want you to take those arms, inhaling up and exhaling down. Inhaling up and exhaling down three more. In reverse direction, so this time inhaling back and up, and exhaling forward and down. Last one, and go ahead and release. I want you to drop your chin to your chest. I want you to feel that stretch in the back of your neck. Feel that release in that cervical spine. And I want you to really slowly, really exaggerated, shake your head no. So turning your head from side to side, still with your chin down towards your chest. And this is where I want you to say no. I won't block my blessings from the universe. Say it out loud. Say it in your head. Say it multiple times. Whatever feels right for you. No, I will not block my blessings from the universe. And we'll release back to center, still chin to chest. And I want you to nod your head yes, again, really slow, really exaggerated, so really dropping your head back and then dropping it forward. And this time I want you to say yes, I am open to receive the light. I'm open to receive all these good things, all this new energy, all this new magic. 
and then say it out loud or don't. Say it in your head. And then go ahead and release. And if you just lift your back, your head back up to neutral, we're going to place that right hand down onto the mat and inhale that left arm up and open. Take a little side stretch here. And then that left side body open up. Try to keep that chest open to the sky. And then I want you to inhale, open up that chest a little more. And exhale, you're going to bring that left hand kind of down and under. And then inhale, open up. Almost like you're threading the needle. Exhale. And inhale up one more time. Exhale. And inhale. We're going to come back to neutral. Now we're going to take it to the other side. So this time left hand comes down. Inhale that right arm up and open. You're going to really try to keep that chest open to the sky. Now we're going to take that big inhale open. Exhale. Take that little twist. Inhale. And exhale. And exhale. And go ahead and inhale back up. And you can release. Now we're going to take it to a child's pose with some grounding action in here. So I like to take a wide legged child's pose, bringing my knees about as wide as my mat, sinking my hips back, and extending my arms, dropping that chest to the mat. Now find this, find this grounding. Notice all the parts of you that are touching the mat. Connect with that earth. Let me raise up all 10 fingers and then lower them one at a time. Remember that even yet, even though we're going to harness all this magic, all this energy, we got to stay grounded because it's easy to take all that energy and just totally go into space with it and just get ungrounded and not have any real structure to our dreams, to our goals. But it's that grounding that takes that energy and gives us structure. And just feel that ground beneath you. Remember in our last mantra, I will align with my highest self. And go ahead and gently inhale up to that tabletop. We're going to go into our cat cows here. Shoulder, elbow, wrists are all in line. Hips are stacked over the knees. You're going to inhale, open up the chest, lift the chin. Exhale, go ahead and round, drop chin to chest. Inhale, open up, arch the back. And exhale, round. Let's do five more of these on your own breath, linking breath to movement. what feels good. Maybe rock from side to side. Take some full body circles. Just listening to your body here. Listening to your breath. Finish up that last round and back to a neutral spine. Now I want you to take your right leg and extend it up to the side and it's coming flat and then you're going to press yourself up. Come into gate pose here. You can have your toes pointed outwards or pointed inwards, whatever feels right to you. So like this or here. I want you to inhale your arms up and exhale drop that right hand and just you're going to stretch again that opening up that left side we're trying to just get really open here so we can make all that space for all these new good things. Go ahead and inhale, come back to center, come back down. Bring that right leg in, now we're going to take it to the left, so this time left leg's extending. Again, find your best foot placement. Inhale, come up. Go ahead and bring those arms up. Take an inhale, 
Exhale, drop that left hand. Folding over to the left, opening up that right side body. Go ahead and inhale, come up. And release, come back to that table. Now we're gonna do something similar. Take it to some half plank, or you can take full side plank if it, that feels right for you. I'm gonna kick out my right leg and kick over my water bottle. <laughs> kick out my right leg to the side like it's a little kickstand. I'm gonna shift all my weight over to the right. I'm gonna open up for a little half side plank here. Now, if you wanna take your full side plank, you're welcome to. Maybe you just wanna lift that back leg. We're gonna hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and release. Shift it back to your table. Now we're gonna take it to the other side. Take out that left leg like it's a little kickstand, shifting all my weight over, right leg extends back. I'm gonna open up. Now option again, if you wanna take full side plank, maybe you just wanna lift that back leg up. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and exhale, release. We're gonna find our first downward facing dog. So I want you to tuck those toes, inhale, those hips up and back. Find some movement in this downward dog. Maybe that looks like pedaling your feet. Maybe shaking your hips. Maybe you wanna revisit those mantras. Maybe you wanna shake your head no and say no, I'm not gonna block my blessing. Or nod your head yes and say yes. I'm open to receive all the good things, all the light. Go ahead and inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. And exhale, step forward into your forward fold. Hang out here. Find some movement. <coughs> Maybe sway from side to side. You can grab for opposite elbows. Now we're going to take some twists here. So I want you to drop first your right hand, right center the, beneath your face to the mat. Now this is where your blocks can come in. You can place your hand on that block and then inhale, open up for a twist or maybe you don't use your block, whatever works for you. You're gonna bend into that right knee, taking an open arm twist here. Inhale, open up a little more, exhale, release. Switch out the hands, so this time left hand's coming to tent right underneath my face. I'm gonna inhale, open up, bend into that left knee, and twist. Inhale, and exhale. Now inhale for that halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale those hands to your heart center. Take a moment here in this Tadasana in this mountain pose to get grounded. This is a great pose for grounding. I want you to bring your hands to your heart center in prayer. Samasthiti. And close your eyes. Maybe lift up all 10 toes and then lower them back down. Feel that mat, that ground beneath you. Feel that energy. Harness that energy. Use it to make a change, to align with your highest self, to make a shift. When you're ready, you can gently open your eyes. Now we are gonna incorporate some chair pose. So I'm gonna find the stance that I like best for my chair, which is big toes together to touch with a sliver of space in between my heels. Maybe for you, it's feet hips distance apart. You do what works best for you. We're gonna take some half sun so that it's here with twists and chair. So I want you to inhale your arms up. And exhale, you're gonna take an open arm twist to the right. So right arm's going back, left arm's coming forward. Now notice if those hips start to go with you. We don't want that. We want hips to stay straight, just turning the upper body. Gazing over that back hand. Inhale, center. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Again, check in with those hips. Inhale, center. Exhale, sink down into your imaginary chair. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, come back to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. We're gonna do that sequence two more times. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, open arm twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, open arm twist to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, chair. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Now this last one, I'm not gonna cue. I want you to do it on your own breath. Listen to your body, listen to that energy. Let that energy flow. You know the move, you can watch me if you need to. We're gonna take it from the top. Standing in Tadasana whenever you're ready. Take your time to get there. Now once you're there, we're going to start working on some lunges, some lunge twists. Now keeping your blocks near the top of your mat. I want you to come to stand on the top of your mat, this time feet hip distance. Now if you'd like to take these lunges from a vinyasa, you know, take your upper facing dog, chaturanga, downward facing dog, that's totally up to you. I'm gonna cue this from standing for all my newbies or anybody who needs this variation. So you're gonna bring your hands to your hips. And we're gonna start with this right leg. So we're putting all of our weight into our right leg. And we're gonna set the left leg back into a high crescent lunge. So my right knee is staying over my ankle, my back leg is active, back foot, back foot is active. I'm gonna find this power stance here and then I'm gonna inhale my arms up. Hips are square to the front of the mat. Find that power. Feeling it in those hips. Now take a big inhale. Exhale, you're gonna open arm twist to the right, so over this knee that's bent. Gazing over that right hand. Feel the shake, feel the wobble. Take an inhale here and exhale, just drop that left hand down. So coming to a low twist. Now you can use your block here, placing that left hand on your block. Still gazing up towards that hand. Using these twists to release anything that needs to be released. Now take an inhale and exhale. We're just gonna step right back to the top of our mat. So just whoop, and release into your forward fold. Shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Hang out here for a moment. Find your center, find your grounding again. Remind yourself of your intentions, your mantras. Take a big inhale in through the nose. And open mouth, exhale. One big inhale in. And open mouth, exhale. All right, we're gonna take it to that left side. Bring my hands to my hips. Put all my weight into that left foot. Stepping that right foot back. Finding that high crescent pose. Knee over ankle, back leg and back foot active. Inhaling arms up, hips are closed. Finding that power. Take a big inhale. Exhale, open arm twist over that bent left knee. Gazing back towards that left hand. Feel the wobble. Take an inhale here, exhale. Drop that right hand to the mat again. You can drop it to a block also. Gazing up towards that left hand. Take a big inhale and exhale. You're just gonna step right back to a forward fold. Shake it out. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Again, find a Siddhasana, this mountain pose. This grounding. That energy of Capricorn and Aquarius. Again, you lift up all 10 toes and lower them back down. We're just going to take a little, little sun salute, little break here in between these lunges. So I want you to inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You can drop your hands down and step back to a high plank for just a second and then lower all the way down to your belly. We're going to take some low cobras here. Hands are underneath the shoulders. I'm going to inhale. Lift the head, the chest, the shoulders. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, release. Go ahead and tuck those toes. Now you can press up first to a table or to a high plank. Either way, we're going to end up in downward dog. So however you're going to get there, inhale, press up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, gaze to the top of your mat. And exhale, one step forward into your forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right, now again, I'm gonna cue these lunges from stepping back. If you'd like to take them from a vinyasa from downward dog, please be my guest. If you're gonna take them from standing, we'll start standing at the top of our mat, hands to hips. Now again, I'm starting with this right leg. So I'm putting my weight into my right leg, stepping back into my high crescent lunge. Don't mind my knees popping. <laughs> Finding this power. I'm gonna inhale my arms up. Hitting this high crescent just for a moment. And then I'm going to bring my hands to my heart. I'm going to inhale, shift my upper body forward. And exhale, I'm going to find a twist over that right knee. Now you might not be able to make that connection with your elbow. You can hold it right here. Whatever works for you. Now I want you to breathe here. And now what we're going to do is going to be a little funky transition. And if you don't, if you don't want to try it, you're like, that's a little too much. Don't worry about it. From here, your twisted lunge, we're going to step into a twisted chair. So I'm holding this twist. I'm just going to boop, step right up into a twisted chair. I lost my little elbow hook. That's okay. I'm going to hang out here and then I'm going to exhale, release and fold, shake it up. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe here for a second. Then we're going to go to the other side. All right. Bring hands to hips. Place all weights now into that left leg. Step back into that high crescent. Hang out here. Find that power stance. Inhale the arms up. Then bring your hands to your heart. Inhale to shift forward. And exhale. Find that twist. Now holding this lunge prayer twist. I'm going to put all that weight into this left foot. And I'm just going to... Step it on in to a twisted chair. Hold here for a moment. And then exhale, fold over my leg. Just shake it out. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. Breathe in your Tadasana. You can bring your ha hands out to your side if you'd like. Really feel that strong mountain pose, active fingers. I know these twists are intense, but we gotta release. 
we gotta release because there's so much new good energy coming. There's a change coming. What are you gonna do with that? What change are you gonna make? What journey are you gonna start? Shake your head no again. Say no, I will not block my blessings from the universe. And nod your head yes. Yes, I am open to receive the light. And come back to stillness. I will align with my highest self. All right. Go ahead and inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the hand to step back to a downward facing dog. And I just want you to drop your knees. Sink the hips back. Come to a child's pose. A little rest here. A little grounding energy. Feeling all parts of you that are on the mat. Grab water if you need it. I'm going to grab some. Taking a moment here to breathe. Feel your hands, your forearms, your shins, your feet, your chest, your forehead, everything that's on the mat right now. Now that we worked on releasing a bit, we're gonna make some space. So I want you to take your hands and just walk them over to the right. So opening up that left side body. In your child's pose, a little side stretch here. Breathing into that rib cage, feeling it expand. Go ahead, inhale, come back through center, and exhale, bring it over to the left. Now expanding that right side body. Go ahead and inhale, come back to center. When you're ready, gently lift up to your tabletop. Tuck those back toes. And inhale those hips up and back for your downward dog. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, travel into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, come to standing. And exhale, hands to heart center. All right. We're going to kind of work on our little goal pose of class, our half moon. This is what we've been preparing for. We're actually going to do a regular half moon and a twisted half moon. So I want you to have your blocks right at the top of your mat. Now we're going to start standing again. If you want to take this transition from vinyasa, go ahead. Bring my hands to my hips. I'm going to put all that weight into my right foot. And I'm going to step back and open my hips up to a warrior two. So a bit wider stance, back foot is flat. My hips are going from that closed high crescent to an open warrior two. Knees over ankle. Come into this powerful warrior stance. Easy roll my top fingers. Now I'm going to start to put all this weight into this right foot, and I'm going to start to shift forward until I can lift off, keeping the hip open. Now this is where you can bring your hand to a block. Maybe you lift up that left arm. Now you can take this against the wall also. If you've never done this before, you're just like, oh, I'm super wobbly. Go against the wall, put the wall behind you. Now, I want you to very gently start to lean this left hand down. Again, you can take it to a block, keeping the legs where they are, and now take a twisted half moon. You might not be able to twist very far. That's okay. Twists are not my strong suit either. <laughs> so the left hand's on the block now. 
right arm comes up, trying to still keep those legs in the same space, the hips open, and take an inhale, exhale, you can release that leg, come back to that warrior two, and then I'm just going to step back to the top of our mat, so it's nice and easy, Woo. all right, so I know that was a little funky, but it's fun, right, we got to try new things, we're starting a new journey, we got to try new things, all right, we're going to take to the other side, so again, pull that weight into that left foot, stepping the right foot back into your warrior two, open hips, left knee is over ankle, finding this power here for a moment. I don't know if you guys can see my dog, but it's just so cute. Hi, Jack. <laughs> I think it's the first time he's ever like slept through a whole yoga class. <laughs> I'm gonna put all this weight into this left foot. I'm gonna start to shift forward until I can lift that right leg. Bringing my left hand either to a block or you can hover it or touch the mat. Hips are open, back foot is flexed. I'm opening up. Again, you can lean against the wall. You can keep this hand on the hip. Ooh. This is balance. This is focus. breathing. Take a big inhale, maybe start to transition that right hand down, switching it out with the left. Taking that revolved, twisted half moon. Again, maybe you can't twist very far, that's okay. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna fall on my mirror, it's fine. <laughs> Don't grab onto things again that will fall. <laughs> and gently start to transition back. Step back into that warrior two. Whew. And we're just gonna step back to the top of our mat, nice and easy. Whew. Shake it out. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. You can plant your hands, sit back to the table. And go ahead and sit on your butt. All right. We're gonna come to an easy seated pose. We're just going to take some gentle twists here. You can keep your blocks by your side if you want to use them for when we go to our backs for bridge pose. All right. That was fun, wasn't it? I love half moon. <laughs> so feeling your sit bones beneath you. Oh, here comes Jack. <laughs> Come here. Come on. Maybe not. <laughs> We're going to start with some gentle twists here. So I want you to inhale. There he is. Arms up. And exhale. Twist to the right, so left hand's coming to right knee. Right arm is coming back behind you, gazing over that shoulder. I'm going to inhale, come back to center. And exhale, twist to the left. So right hand coming to left knee. Left hand's coming behind you, gazing over that left shoulder. And inhale, come center. Look, Jack's doing yoga. Yeah. <laughs> and exhale, just take a fold over your legs. Hi, Jack. Can I say hi, everybody? Yeah. Tell him I'm a pup. I'm just a little pup. He's a good boy. Sometimes. And go ahead and inhale, come up. Now we're going to transition to our backs, so I'm going to let Jack out, or else he'll just <laughs> disrupt us for the rest of the class. Go and find your way to your back. Come on, Jack. Come on. All right. Find your way to your back. We're going to take a bridge pose first. Now, option to take either one long supported bridge or you can take three little baby bridges. If you want to work on wheel pose, that is totally up to you. I'm going to take a supported bridge because it's my fave. So I'm going to grab my block, bending at the knees, my feet are close up to my butt. I'm going to inhale my hips up, scooch that block on underneath, right underneath my sacral area. Hands are going to come to the side, palms facing down for that grounding energy. I'm going to hang out here now again if you'd like to just Lift and lower, that's fine. And you can put this block on any of the height settings depending on your rear back and your back flexibility. Okay. 
wherever you are, you're breathing. Taking in all that energy. We released a lot today. Most twists, twists are just the greatest for releasing. They're also great for releasing in the physical body as well. They can help with digestion. I don't know if you can hear my stomach gurgling, but it is. <laughs> I'm gonna inhale those hips up and scooch that block on under, out of, from underneath me. And we're gonna come to some reclined pigeon. I know we didn't get into the hips too much, but let's hit those hips for a little bit of hip release. So keeping my knees bent, I'm gonna cross my right ankle over my left thigh. And maybe this is enough for you right here. You wanna gently press on that right thigh to just open that hip up. Maybe you're like, hey, I need a little bit more. So you're gonna draw your legs into your chest, reach in between that hole you just created, grabbing the back, of that thigh and pulling them in. You feel it in that right hip. Breathing here. And you can very gently release that grip you have on your legs, but keeping them crossed. I'm going to draw my arms out to a T position, and I'm going to drop those legs over to the left, keeping that twist. So taking a twisted twist. Now, if it's too much, you can release the twist in your legs. If you want to gaze over your shoulder in the opposite direction, now this is going to, you're going to feel this in the outer hip and the low back. Like a double whammy release here. Bring those legs back to center. You can unwind and I will take it to the other side. So this time I'm crossing my left ankle over right thigh. Maybe this is enough. Maybe you're like, cool, I'm going to hang out here. Maybe you want a little more. So you're going to draw those legs in, reach in between that space you just created. Pull those legs down towards you. Feeling it in that left hip now. I'm breathing here. Releasing that grip you have on your legs, bringing your arms to a T position, crossing those legs a little more, and then dropping them over to the right. Now again, you can uncross the legs if this is too much. You can gaze over that opposite shoulder. Just breathing here in this twist. One of our final releases. Inhale, John. Come back to center, unwind. You can chill, wipe out your legs for a moment. All right, go ahead and extend those legs out and extend those arms overhead as well. And now we're going to take some final crescent poses here. So this is also called, ban I think, banan banan banasana, banana, <laughs> like banana pose, right? Basically, you're going to make a banana or a crescent moon on your mat. So I'm going to draw my arms over to the right, and I'm also going to draw my legs over to the right. Now you might need to scooch your hips over to the left just a bit. So again, I'm forming a banana or a crescent moon on my mat, really opening up that left side body. Now, if you want a little more, you're going to cross that left ankle over the right. I just want you to breathe into that expansion in the left side. 
because now we released. So now we're gonna make space. We're gonna make space for all this new awesome stuff happening, this new journey we're gonna, going to embark on. Make space for the light. Go ahead and release back to center. And we're gonna take it to the other side. So maybe scooching those hips to the right just a bit. Arms and legs go to the left, creating that banana shape with a crescent moon. And again, maybe you cross that right ankle over left just for a little bit more. And really just create space in that right side. Breathing into that rib cage, feeling that stretch from hip to ribs feeling all that wonderful space because it's going to get filled with all this energy that is happening on this conjunction on this solstice we're making space for that magic go ahead and gently release now we're going to find our savasana or if there's any final pose that you would like to take please do so here whatever it may be Maybe happy baby, maybe you want some more twists. I'm kind of feeling just like right, right into Savasana. I'm gonna take a Supta Baddha Kanasana, so I'm gonna bring my feet bottoms together to touch, and I'm just gonna open up at the hips. Now you don't have to take this, you can take a full Savasana. You can take whatever kind of Savasana you want, legs up the wall, I don't care. Just finding what works best for you. Closing your eyes. And one final time, I want you to shake your head no very gently and say no. I'm not gonna block my blessings, not anymore. I got rid of all that dark. And once you nod your head yes, and say yes, I'm open to receive the light, I'm open to receive those blessings, all the good new things. And come to stillness and say yes, I will align with my highest self. I'm gonna start that hero's journey, I'm gonna take that leap of faith focus on whatever that means to you as we breathe here to let you know when it's time to come back. back into your space, back into your body. You can wiggle those toes, or wiggle those fingers. You can roll out your wrists or roll out your ankles. And when you're ready, you're just going to draw your knees into your chest. Can you give it one final squeeze here. And drop it over to one side using your bottom arm as a pillow. Find your fetal pose. Remembering that this fetal pose symbolizes fresh starts and new beginnings. Gently pressing your way up to a seat, any seat that you are comfortable in. Keeping your eyes closed. Drawing your hands to either side of you, feeling the mat beneath your fingertips. Inhale, arms come up, take in all that wonderful energy. And exhale, bring them back down. One final release of anything that does not serve you. Inhale, arms up. 
Exhale, draw his palms together to touch and bring him to your heart center. The light and love in me honors the light and love in each of you. Good luck on your new journey. You bow to our practice. Thank you. That is all I have for you today, guys. Um, tell me what your new journey is. I would love to hear it in the comments. Let me know. Um, if you have any questions about Nourish Your Life, please also let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, I want to hear what you thought, what your new journey is. Um, yeah, I can't wait to read them. And I think that's all I got. I will see you for the full moon, which is just about, I think it's the 29th. It's like right before New Year's. I believe it's in Cancer. So we're going to get all up in our feels. Um, check me out on Instagram if you don't already. It's at Nourish Natasha. Don't forget to, to subscribe. And that's all I have for you guys. I will see you on the full moon.